your ear on ear out. Praise God. Glory be to God. Father, we exalt you. And we worship and adore you. We glorify you, Almighty God, for who you are. You are a great and holy and righteous God. Thank you, God. We just bless your name, eternal God, and thank you. Thank you, Jesus. My brothers and sisters, as we give him the glory, I want to thank God for protecting us and for keeping us, okay, for Jesus. guiding us and covering us throughout today. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. In spite of all what is happening around us, God is still preserving and protecting his children. Thank you, Jesus. And we can count on the faithfulness of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so there is a welcome to the broadcast tonight. And I extend welcome to all of you. And may God richly bless you. Again, I long to see you all. Yeah. As my brethren. It seems as if it's almost a year I haven't seen some of you. But thank God, though absent in the body, but we are present in spirit. Praise God. And we want to give God thanks. And I still have all of you, my brothers and sisters, in prayer. And I know by the help of God, when we get through this, when we come through this, the fellowship and the unity of the body of Christ will be stronger. Amen. So, keep strong. Keep praying. Thank you, Jesus. Keep trusting and believing in the word of Almighty God. The word cannot fail. And God himself cannot fail. Amen. So, let God lead you and let God guide you. There is a song that I want you to join. Join me in singing tonight. It's a very powerful song, just the first verse. In this time of crisis and challenges, I want to join me. I care not Today, what the morrow may bring, if shadow or sunshine or rain, the Lord I know ruleth for everything, and all of my worries. Living by faith in Jesus above, trusting, confiding in His great love from all our sins. In his sheltering arms, I am living by faith and feel no alarm. Living by faith in Jesus above. Trusting, confiding in His great love, glory to God. From all our sins, in His 
sheltering arms the love with of God and living by faith and feel no alive. I want to sing it for you again, my brethren. Living by faith in Jesus above trusting confiding in his great love from all harm safe in his sheltering arms I am living by faith and feel no alarm. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Praise God. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus you, Christ. Jesus. Let us go to God in prayer. Our Jesus. great God and our Father. Father, we who worship you. Heaven. We give you praise. We Hallowed give you glory. be thy we give name, O God. You are the King thy of kings. kingdom the come. Lord of praise Never God. Thy will be done Great in God earth as universe. it is in heaven. We magnify your name, Jesus. Almighty God, we glorify you for, you for who you are and exalt you. Thank above you all that. else you, are God and you have no been God good to you. us you so have taken us God, through many dangerous toils and snares oh you have carried us through many dark path god and challenges and Father, what is happening around Jesus us at this Christ time god this, um, hallelujah we know you are able, my God, to carry us through and to deliver us and to protect us as your children. Thank you, God. And so tonight, Lord God Almighty, as we join the songwriter, I care not today what tomorrow may bring, whether it's shadow or sunshine or rain, but my God, we know that you rule it over everything and you can calm the fear oh god and the troubles of your children jesus so as we clasp our hands into your divine hands we ask god to hold these hands of ours your children to lead us and to guide our path. Help us, Lord, that none of us will make the wrong step, oh, God Jesus. Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory oh, to God. But each step that we take, God, daily, Jesus. my God, you will guide Thank us. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ, my Praise God. God. We are limited in knowledge. Yes, Jesus. We know not where the pitfalls or the dangers are. God, or the plot or the plans of the enemy. But my God, you are the all-wise yes, God, God, the all-powerful God. And so we, we trust your wisdom, yes, Almighty God. To lead us and to direct our path. Thank you, Jesus. For you promise if we acknowledge you, you will direct our path. Praise God. Tonight, Lord God, as your children, as we go into your words, I pray those who have joined us and those, my God, who will join us shortly. Jesus. Your word, God will be a blessing to them tonight. Open up our mind and our hearts and our understanding to your word. You, and Lord God Almighty, your children be blessed tonight. God. God, we can only 
serve you well. When we understand your word. Yes, Jesus. And so we ask for divine wisdom, divine revelation. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for everything tonight. Yes, God. As you bless us now. And lead us now. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Bible study tonight. Welcome to Brother Harrison, Sister Reed, Melissa Brown, Anne Marie Davidson, Brother Martin Brown, and I know Sister Brown is with him, Sister Anika Paisley, Sister Darius Clark. Sister Marcia Moncrief, Brother Carlton Nelson, Sister Keisha Carby, Sister Anne Marie Paisley, Sister Renisha Scarlett, Sister Winsome Burnett, New York, Sister Ermin Blackwood, Sister Joan Stewart, Sister Aloni Anderson, New York, Heaven. Heaven Child. <laughs> Welcome. Janet Thomas. Makiba Jackson. Donet Meredith. Welcome, my sister. Good to have you. Praise God. Roxy Brown. Sancia Carflash. Rose Lyons, New York. Deborah Chambers Lopez. Dorothy Greenwood. Vicky Taylor. Welcome to you all, and may God richly bless you and thank you for joining us. My brothers and sisters, I want to deal with a very important passage. Something, there are some things that happened since this pandemic, and We have seen many of our spiritual leaders uh, disobeying the, the laws and the command of the, of, 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 of the government. And so, I want to put this in perspective, my brothers and sisters, that Christian must obey government must obey the law mm -hmm. christian cannot be law breakers don't follow leaders who choose they can flout the law and disobey the, 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 the order from government as long as it is not in conflict with your relationship with god we have a duty and a responsibility to respect the law of the land. Amen. And so many of you may not know that is a scriptural. And I want to deal with that tonight and set the record straight that the church is not above the law. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let us look at Romans chapter 13. I want you to go there with me. Romans chapter 13. And that chapter in the King James Version is entitled Honor Authority. Mm -hmm. Honor Authority. And we want to do, do it verse by verse. The breakdown of each verse of this chapter. As far as we can reach tonight. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. 
for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good. And thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For this cause, pay true, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Let me go to verse and 7. Render therefore to all their dues, Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. And before I close, I want to deal with that word fear. To clear up the misunderstanding with that word fear that many of you are having in the Sunday school lesson, my brothers. Now, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Now, what this scripture is saying, my brothers and sisters, is that subjection is to government. Mm -hmm. To the government. Is the oblig subjection to the government is the obligation of all mankind. Hello? Not just Christians. All mankind. This, this, it is not optional. But an absolute necessity, my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. It is not optional whether we want to obey or not to obey. Mm -hmm. We must obey yes. the laws of the land. We must obey the rules set by the government. You know. Because the higher powers established by and you can look at Titus chapter 3 and verse 1 Titus chapter 3 and verse 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work. Mm -hmm. This is the word of the Lord. Who is pardonable? Put the believers in mind that they may subject to principalities. And we're not talking about demons now. <laughs> I see it, another. Talking about governments and powers. 
and magistrate. The church must obey the leaders of the land. So when the government set rules, we can say, ah, for them are not God. <laughs> no. We have to obey as long as it is not in conflict, I said, with our Christianity. Amen. Amen. The Bible said in verse 2, Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Mm -hmm. Now, whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted government, resisted, the ordinance of God because it's God who set up leaders, he yes. set up government and he take down government. Mm -hmm. Right? So when you disobey government, you're disobeying the ordinance of God, that which God set up for proper order of a society. That's right. So we cannot do that, brethren. And he that resisted shall receive to themselves damnation. Now, this is not a reference to eternal judgment. This damnation is not a reference to eternal damn judgment, but is still a judgment by God. Hmm? Because God has designated authority to human government. Yes. So what is he saying? If you fail to, re to obey government, you will be charged. Mm -hmm. You will face <coughs> penalties. That's right. So when you fail... <coughs> As a Christian, you fail to obey the government and you find yourself in jail. Don't go praying and talking about the blood that Jesus is against you and trying to bring, like you're bringing out judgment and the police are on going. No, because you are facing the penalty for that which you did wrong. Wrong. Wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. You see, so the the damnation <coughs> here is the penalty that you are paying for disobedience to the rule of government and the law. That's right. You can't get away from that. You see, you got to pay the price, and a heavy price sometimes. Mm -hmm. You see. Let us look at verse 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works, <laughs> but to evil, to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. The minister of God to thee for good. Rulers. Let me go to verse 4. Too. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God. A revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Yes. Brothers <laughs> and sisters, the government and the leaders, they are there to preserve the good order of society. So, 
Don't think that they are there to pat you on the back when you go wrong. No. What, 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 what if, take for instance a murder, a man commit a murder. Why do you think the government? Pat him on the back and they go free? No, that is why the, the law and the books to have sent him to prison for life imprisonment. Mm -hmm. You see, they are not just there for good. You see, the rulers are not a terror to good works. You see, but to the evil, to carry out the law. You know, but he also a minister of God for the for good. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when government put laws into place, is also to protect you, the decent law-abiding citizen. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see, so the purpose of human government is to uphold the good and punish the evil. That's right. That's the reason why government is there, to uphold the good. So if you walk upright, obey the law, that government is there to uphold you and to protect you against those who will commit evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right and wrong is determined by the state. That's right. Not by each one of us. It is the state that determines right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And the Christians citizen is to fear and obey the government yes sir to fear mm -hmm. and that word fear there is not sin no no not at all <laughs> it's not sin in other words you must respect 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 and obey the government that's right mm -hmm. as long as the government does not demand citizens to violate god's word amen amen, amen. i want to repeat that we have a responsibility as christians as a church to obey the government, as long as what the government is saying to us is not in violation of God's word. That's, right. That's where now you would have to break rank mm -hmm. with the government. If they tell you something, to do something that's going to violate the word of God, then you have a right to disobey Mm -hmm. to, uh, so as to preserve and to protect your relationship uh, with your God. But as long as it is not in violation of God's word, you must obey the laws. Governmental official hold office by virtue of God's appointment. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. For many of us don't feel that way. And I, let, me, let, me, let me also warn us as believers that not because maybe it's not your political party from the government. <laughs> that means, you know, it's not your government. As long as God put them there, they are the government of the land that you have to obey Right. You must obey. You see. Oh, glory to God. Because they hold the office. The prime minister hold the office by virtue of God's appointment. Amen. And are primarily the servant of God mm -hmm. in their 
office. So don't believe that. He's only the minister of the gospel, he's the servant of God. Mm -hmm. No. Any politicians for God put up there, they are the servant of God. They, they make mm -hmm. carrying out different functions. Mm -hmm. You see, so you, we must obey them. Brothers and sisters, the political leader is to actively uphold the good. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of the government. Amen. The government must actively uphold the good. Mm -hmm. And when they uphold the good, we must respect them. That's right. Amen. Because the Bible said, they hold the sword. They bear it, not the sword in vain. Now, what is the sword? The sword is not a piece of instrument to kill here. It's not a sharp instrument to kill here. The sword is a symbol representing the authority given to government to protect its citizens by punishing those who do what it has determined to be wrong. Mm -hmm. You see, so all part, the, the, the word of God is saying is that the sword, bear it, not the sword in vain, is the symbol of authority given to the government to punish those who violate yes. the law and the rules of the land. So if you don't want to feel the sword, obey, obey the law. That's right. Obey the law. Glory to God. It is important, my brothers and sisters, for Christian to be to actively pray for government. That's right. Come on, talk about that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pray for government. Paul said to pray for the government that they may rule well. Yes. That they will not put laws into place that will hinder your rights and so, worship of as God and as a Christians mm -hmm. whatever the government does must come under the direction of God mm -hmm. so that is why Christian you know get up curse government and curse prime minister and curse ministers of government what the, the duty and responsibility <laughs> Christian is to pray for them so that Satan don't influence them to do evil. To do evil. That's right. Amen. Oh, praise be to Amen. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. For without the wisdom of God and God guiding them, these men are not saved. Mm -mm. They are not Christians. They need our prayers. They need our prayers for the devil will take a hold of their mind mm -hmm. to institute laws that will detrimental to your sure. faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. As a Christian. Pray for them. Oh, so the Bible said, pray for them. Amen. Pray for them. Glory to God. That they may rule well. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is one of the chief responsibility of the church mm -hmm. and the children of God. So you don't pray for your party when they, for your party when they form the government. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and pray for your leader because he's the prime minister. No. Our responsibility, whoever is in charge pray for them. and in authority, Every single one of them sitting in garden house, in the Senate, mm -hmm. we must pray for them. That's right. 
that God will influence them mm-hmm. to do the right thing. So it is very important, my brothers and sisters, glory to God. Yes, God. So let us understand that we have a responsibility. Glory to God. To obey the laws and rules of government. Again, as I said, if it is not in conflict with the word of God. Amen. Then you must obey. Let me move on to... For this cause... That's verse 6. For this cause, pay ye tribute also. Yes. For they are God's ministers, yes. attending continually upon this very thing. Mm-hmm. For this cause, pay tribute to them. Mm-hmm. Give honor, give respect, respect to them. Right. It is not right for Christian to curse leaders Mm-mm. and to call them derogatory names. No, they are God ministers. God put them there. And this is what the word of God said. Look deep within the word of God. It said we must pay tribute. tribute. Tribute so tribute when tribute, tribute to whom tribute is due? Pay your taxes and there something there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Christian must pay your taxes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh God. We, we, brethren, it's important for us to understand, you know. We have to do everything according to the word of God. We can't flout the rules and break the law. Because we, we can't want say nothing in the hospital. Mm-hmm. No medicine in the hospital. Mm-hmm. But did you pay the taxes that government could put medicine in the hospital? Amen. Hmm? Let us understand. Did, did we pay our taxes that we could, government could fill the potholes? Mm-hmm. We want water. Did we pay our taxes for the pipelines to be put in? Mm-hmm. Schools. <laughs> you know the... We need good schools. That's right. But did we pay our taxes? Oh God, help us. To get good schools for our children too. <laughs> we cannot do as they say that. We must uphold the principle because government have no money to do anything except the taxes that we pay. Amen. Amen. Tribute to whom tribute, to is, whom due. tribute is due. Mm-hmm. Custom to whom custom. to whom custom is due. Remember Jesus Christ. When the Pharisees asked him a certain question, and what did he say to them? He asked them, Give me the coin. Whose superscription, superscription is on this, on this coin, on this money? Mm-hmm. He said, Caesar. What did Jesus Christ say? Render. Render to Caesar that which belongs to Caesar. To God. And to God. Things that are God's. That belong to God. Yeah. Because they thought that Jesus was going to tell them to break the law. Mm-hmm. 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 And not to respect Caesar. Oh, but God. Jesus Christ said, give, give Caesar what due to him. Mm-hmm. And give God. What is due to him. What is due to him. Praise Brothers God. and sisters, the church 
the Christian must give to government and leaders what due to them. Amen. And give God, God what is due to him. What is due. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. It is our responsibility. Yes. Fear to whom fear is due. Respect, reverence to whom reverence is due. And honor to whom, to whom honor is due. That's right. It's a high mark of the Christian life and responsibility. That's right. For the good order of the society. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let, let us move to verse 8. Praise God. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another had fulfilled the law. Praise God. Oh, no man anything. No. Paul is not setting down a fiscal policy of paying only cash. For everything, you know. That is not what, only what he's saying. If you owe the man, pay him. <laughs> but that, Paul is not just dealing with cash here. Glory to God. But he's, he, he's also referring to the Christian social responsibility of not acting in such a way toward his fellow men that he incurs any any debt other than to love him. Okay. Amen. <coughs> you see. So. If you don't love your brother. Or your sister. You owe him a debt. Amen. And Amen. The debt that you need to pay is to love, love him. him. This is what the Bible is saying. Amen. So when you get up on top and say, I don't like him or I hate him, <laughs> you, you are indebted to that brother. Praise God. Amen. As a Christian, you are indebted to that sister. You hate your mother, you are indebted to your mother. Mm -hmm. You hate your father, you are indebted to your father. Yes. You hate your neighbor, you are indebted to your neighbor. Amen. You hate your co-worker, you are indebted to your co-worker. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you have a social responsibility to, to love, love him. him. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. For when you love him, Praise you fulfilled the law. The law. Love thy, thy neighbor, neighbor as, as thyself. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. It is that the trumping and the shouting in church. Not at all. You have civil duties. It, it goes beyond that. You can't trump and shout in church and neglect your civil responsibility, the social responsibility. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise mm -hmm. God Almighty. Hi. Walking down the road and you see your brother in need, but because you're not like him, you're not love him, you're passing. And you, you have it within you to help him. And you don't help him. And you don't help him. Come on. Even if you are go going to church, you can turn back and find your yard. That's right. Because it, you, it don't make sense you go to church and tell you're going to worship God. And you know you could help him. And you know you could help your brother. You owe him a debt. That's right. That is what you're passing for. The social responsibility. That's right. Of the Christian. So the spiritual responsibility and the social responsibility have to go together. together. Amen. Glory to God. You can't neglect one for the other. Not at all. Mm -hmm. So any those of you listening to me tonight, anybody out there you know love. Hmm. 
<laughs> Start loving because oh, yes. you owe him a debt. Oh, Jesus. You owe a debt. Mm. Owe no man anything. You owe him to love him. You owe him to love him. Praise God. Oh, Jesus, help us. Oh, God, help me, Jehovah. Oh, I Jesus. praise your name, Almighty God. You hmm? must love him, man. You must love him. Jesus. If you don't love him, you don't love God. You, you have to pay that debt before you talk about loving God. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God Almighty. Hmm? Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Mm, hallelujah. Amen, Church of God. Let's get reality. Let's move beyond when you don't speak in tongues. Paul said, if you're not love, mm. the Bible said, if you're not sounding, love, sounding brass. you're a stack of sounding brass tinkling and cymbal. a tinkling cymbal. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You give your body to be burned. You don't have love. And you don't have love. Uh, profit you, you nothing. You profit you nothing. You sing on the choir for years. And you don't pay that debt to your brother to love him. You're singing in vain. Oh, Jesus. You're preaching in vain if you pray and preach for years. Oh, God help us. Glory Jesus. to God. And you don't pay that debt to your brother to love him. You're preaching in vain. Oh, Jesus. You work in the ladies' ministry, the men's ministry. And any ministry within the church of the living God. You're a member of the church for years. And you don't pay that debt to your brother to love oh, him. Jesus. You're walking in vain in your relationship with God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at what Jesus Christ said, my brothers and sisters. He said, if your brother, you know that your brother have art against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you carry the gift to the altar to give me. And you know mm -hmm. that you don't love him. If you give or him not love you. He said, leave, put on your gift. Rest it at the altar. Because I can't accept it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Unless God. that debt is that is paid. Oh Jesus. Leave it and go pay the debt of love. And come, come back, back and, and offer. offer. Offer your gift. Oh, oh bless the Jesus. Lord. Our God. Jesus. I pray tonight, my brothers and sisters, that the word of God will take hold of our heart and lives of believers. That we have to go beyond that. Remember what Jesus said to the Pharisees, to the disciples? Your righteousness must exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. Because the righteousness of the Pharisees was on the outside. It was an outward show, an outward righteousness. By paying their tithes, by keeping Sabbaths. Mm -hmm. Oh, God help me tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Glory God. To God. Thank but you, Jesus. Jesus said to what Jesus was saying to the disciples, your righteousness must be eternal. Yes. The heart must change. Mm -hmm. And when the heart change, the outward man, man change. will change. Mm -hmm. But it cannot be an outside change. The, the change must, must begin on the inside, on the inside oh, to the outside. God help. Oh, oh, glory to God. Thank you, Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Oh. So when the heart change, you will love your brother. You will be the that. Oh, love your brother. Treat him right. That's right. Oh, God. You don't feel as if you are superior to him. Or he's inferior to you. Oh, God. You don't look down upon him unless you're prepared to love him and pick him up. Pick him up. That's right. Oh, That's like right. the Samaritan. Oh, oh God. God. And he healed his wound. Glory Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory.
to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, pray God Thank tonight. You, Jesus. I pray God tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the word of God, the word of God would come home to us. Oh, and no, brothers and sisters, it's go far beyond church membership. Yes, yes. Oh, God, help yes, you, God. Yes, yes, it does. Uh, preach. Holy Spirit of God yes, tonight. Yes, Jesus. Minister to us, God. Show us where we failed. Oh, God. Almighty God. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Listen to what? Listen to what? When you pay that debt, when you pay that debt, brothers and sisters, glory to God. Mm. Mm. And one of the things we must understand, let me, let, let me say this before I, I go to verse 8 and show you something. Mm. Oh, bless the Lord, God. This debt is never paid up. <laughs> It's not oh, a one-time debt, you know. Mm -mm. You have to love your all brother the way. all oh, the Jesus. time. As long as you are alive on earth and he is alive, you oh, have him, to love oh, him unto oh, un death. You have to oh, love him. God, oh, God, there, God, it's God. a continuous debt, a daily debt. You and I have to pay to daily love him, daily treat Jesus. him right. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory oh, God, help to us. the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So don't God. think you're going to go hug him. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Think that's all right. And think that is all right. No, sir. No. It's a continuous death. You can't. This death never pay up. Never. Never. It never mm. paid up until death. Either your person or the brother pass on to glory. But as long as it were your life, <laughs> you Jesus. owe each other to continue to in love. Yes. Oh, praise God. <laughs> we're using it's man made, it's not God. Put it together. Amen. So we apologize for that break. But listen to this, my brothers and sisters. In doing this, the believer will actually perform the righteousness to which the law could only point. Mm -hmm. That is why Paul said, in doing this, you fulfilled the law. Mm -hmm. And how you fulfill the law? Watch this. For this, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> so, if you love your brother, you can't commit adultery with your brother wife. Awesome. Or your sister husband. Mm. Mm? Thou shalt not kill. You can't kill him. Mm -mm. If you pay, you pay the debt. Mm -hmm. You love him. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. Hmm. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this same image. Thou, thou shalt shall love thy neighbor, neighbor as, as thyself. Thy thy Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So in doing all of that, you fulfill the righteousness of the law. Yes, right. Glory to God. For, listen to this, about in doing that, the Bible said, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. That's Hello. It. Love worketh no ill. You can't do anything wrong to your neighbor that which will hurt your neighbor. Love worketh no ill to the neighbor's Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Of the law. That's right. So if you don't love your neighbor, love your brothers and sisters, you still don't fulfill the law. That's right. 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, for in fulfill the fulfill the righteousness of Christ. Hmm? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And Paul, in closing this chapter, he gave us a reason why we should do all of these brothers and sisters. Why we should make sure we live and walk circumspectly as a child of God. Hmm? Why? He said, why you love your name and continue to love your name to fulfill the law and the righteousness of Christ. Because that and that knowing the time, knowing the time that now is high time, time to, wake. to awake out of sleep. That's right. For now is our salvation nearer, nearer than, than when we, we believed. That knowing the time. Mm -hmm. We must know the time. That's right. Understand the time. Amen. That we are living in. That's right. And it's high time. If we know the time. Understand the time. Wake. Paul so we must wake up. Out of your sleep. Out of your sleep. Oh, Jesus. Glory to God. And you know what I mean? literal sleeping what the apostle paul is saying my brother sleep in this text mean insensitivity to the demands of christ and the christian life is that the christians are insensitive to christ's demand upon your life mm -hmm. what he's expecting of you that's right you know because many of us within the church we are sleeping Fast asleep. We are fast asleep. Oh, Jesus. Because we are insensitive to what Christ demands of us. Mm -hmm. you know, he called us to fulfill the, 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 the command yes. that he gave us. Mm -hmm. Especially my brothers and sisters. The, the, the great commission mm -hmm. to carry the gospel. Jesus. Of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. There's a great demand pressed upon the believer. Oh, God help us. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But many of us become complacent mm -hmm. and insensitive Jesus. to the demand of Christ upon our lives. Mm -hmm. With the lamp must keep burning. Oh, the light must continue to shine. Oh, God, oh, God Almighty. The glory of God must continue to be reflected in us. The righteousness of Christ must continue to be seen in us. Oh, God Almighty. When we walk out there, we must walk as children of light. This is a demand. Mm -hmm. That is placed upon the Christian. You cannot do anything to dishonor oh, the name of God. Not at all. Not at all. Hmm? Glory to God. For now is our salvation nearer. Nearer. Amen. Nearer. Nearer. Brothers and sisters, the coming of Jesus Christ is to deliver us from this sinful world grows nearer every day. Yes. Glory to God. Let me say it again. The coming of Christ to deliver us from this sinful world grows nearer every single day. That is why the Christian must wake up and fulfill your responsibilities right. that Christ gave you. Mm -hmm. Because time, time, time is winding up. Is winding up. That's right. 
God. Glory to God. Praise mm. God. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. For the night. The night is far spent. Mm. Oh God. What is the night? You know what is the night, brothers and sisters? The night is the time while Christ is out of the world. Oh God Almighty. And the world. And the systems and practices of the world is taken over by the devil. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, as a child, remember, as mommy and daddy at home, you, 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 you what you do? You conform. Yes, you're the best behavior. You're the best behaving mm -hmm. child. But the day mommy, when mommy go on the market, or mommy back turn. Huh? The, the, something the, the, different. Something huh? different. Jesus. You know, something different begin to everybody begin to know one, one thing. Okay. Nobody follow any rule for big you, you feel your big sister feel your big. Nobody listen to anybody. Everybody choose to do their own thing. So that is what is happening. But the devil, the devil making a feast of it because crisis out of the world so night night oh god take over darkness take over oh god almighty hallelujah jesus. glory to god in the name of jesus christ oh god, help us. and the prince and power satan is now the prince and power of the year of the year take over oh, take over Glory to God. Jesus. Ruling the affairs of men mm. and in the heart of men. Oh, because God. night, night come, darkness take over. Oh, because Jesus. Christ is out. Oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. But he said, the day is at hand. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Let us therefore. The yes. night is far spent. The day is at hand. The day is at hand. Let us therefore. Let us therefore. Cast off. Cast off. The works. The works. Of darkness. Oh God. The day is a reference to the time when Christ will return. Oh, and establish his reign of righteousness my brothers and sisters. Mm. That is the day we are looking forward to. Oh, Jesus. When the church is raptured. Praise God. And Christ returned to earth with the saints from glory to establish the millennial kingdom oh, when Jesus. righteousness will be established upon the earth again. Oh, God. oh hallelujah. Let somebody shout Praise glory God. out there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to the God. day is at hand, brothers and sisters. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. The darkness oh, take God. over now. Yes. But it won't be long. Oh, praise the God. The change coming. Yes. Hallelujah. A change is coming. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we are not far from that change. Not at all. My brothers and sisters, sit down carefully, fasten your seatbelt. Thank you, Jesus. Because whatever you see happening in the world today is pointing us as children of God that the day is at hand. Night is about to pass. Darkness is about to cease. Oh, and yes. light is about to overtake Hallelujah. the world again. Glory to God. For Jesus Christ shall reign supreme. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And righteousness shall reign upon the earth again. Glory to God. So, brothers and sisters, let us put on the armor of light. Yes. 
Clothe yourself in the righteousness of Christ. Put on Christ. I beseech every child of God out there. Put on Christ. Walk in Christ. Yes. Live in Christ. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Let us walk honestly yes. as in the day. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Not in rioting chambering. and drunkenness. Mm -hmm. Not in chambering and wantonness. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, as Christian, we can walk out of honor. Not at all. Jesus. Lord God Almighty. Sorry for that break again, believers. Oh. The Christian cannot walk out of order. Not at all. We can't live out of order. Mm -hmm. We can't behave out of order. Yes. We can't dress out of order. Oh, God. Come on, brothers and sisters. We must live holy, man. We must live holy. Righteously. We must live righteously. Oh, God. We must live according to the walk, according as children of light. Let the light be seen in our behavior. Yes. The light be seen in our conduct. Hallelujah. Our attitude. Oh, glory to God. Church of God, I'm beseeching you tonight. I'm begging you as believers. Thank glory you, Glory to God. Let us clothe ourselves in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Let us go back to our roots. Yes, sir. The roots of the church of God is good living. Yes. Good dressing. Yes, holiness. Holiness. Yes. Amen. Righteousness. Yes. Sanctification. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, glory to the name Thank of Jesus. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Praise God. Mm. Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, this is not the time to make provision for the flesh. This is right. The Bible said, make no provision for, for the, the flesh. flesh. What is he saying? One should not seek opportunity to, to satisfy the yep. deep-seated desires of the sinful nature. Oh, no God. seek opportunity. No put yourself at a place. Mm -hmm. God Almighty oh, God. and seeking opportunity to fulfill the lust, the lust and the desire of the flesh. Thank Glory you, to God. Thank Hallelujah. You, God. Oh, bless God. Let me show you what we mean. Look, no, do as what David do. David should be at war. <laughs> He go up and bad, put himself up on balcony, balcony, walking around, mm -hmm. where he go take the look from Bathsheba, mm -hmm. making provision, making provision, a war he should then, yes. battle he should then, mm -hmm. but still he end up. Oh, God. Glory to God. And that is why the Apostle Paul also reminds that we must shun the very the appearance, appearance of evil. Of evil. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We, we, oh, bless the Lord Jesus. God Almighty. So now set up, now make it, set up anything that will bring you downfall, oh, brothers and sisters. Glory. Now lock up with the devil in a house mm. and think you're strong enough mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't overcome. to overcome him. Not at all. Glory to God. Shun the very appearance. Shun the you. very appearance. Potiphar set up mm -hmm. something for the Joseph. But you see, Joseph way. run. Mm -hmm. He prefer way. run naked. Oh, okay. He prefer run leaving shirt. Oh, so as not to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Of the flesh. There are times when 
you have to walk away from something when you see you know wait till it happen mm -hmm. but you could you can't discern the evil yes and where the devil going yeah. with what he's setting up but before he set you up and trap you, you must run. Run. You yes. must see it and run. Oh, you must God. see it and walk away. You spiritualize. Oh man. God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Open your spiritual eyes, brothers and Hallelujah. sisters. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Make no provision For to fulfill. Be lost. Mm. Hallelujah. But let us make occasion to manifest works. That are consistent with the new life in Christ. Oh, yes. Whatever you do must show forth your new life. That's right. Your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. When you tell a person that you're born again, you're a child of God, it must be seen in your behavior. That's right. It must be seen in your That's it right. must be seen in your speech. How you talk to each other. How you behave to each other. Oh, how you conduct yourself in oh, business Jesus. with each other. Lord Help God, us, Christian can sharp change. Not at all. <laughs> Your brother, not trick him. No, you sir. can't trick him. No, sir. Oh, God. It must be seen in your lifestyle. That's right. And in your mannerism. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Praise I God. challenge us tonight. Praise God. My brothers and sisters. Glory to God. One, honor authority. Let me read. Honor authority. Thank you, Jesus. You can't be a child of God. That's right. And this honor those who God put over you, mm -hmm. whether in the church or in governments. Awesome. You have to obey. Mm -hmm. Obey the rules of the church, and you have to obey the rules of the land. That's right. You have to honor those who God put in governments. And have you had those who God put in governments in the church? That's right. As a child of God. You can't be disobedient. So those of you who sometimes even in the church get up running all over the place and nobody knows which part you're there. And think you're doing God's service. You know do God's service. They them that have the rule over you. Amen. In the Lord. Praise God. And finally, my brothers and sisters, challenge you again. Live as Christians. Walk as Christians. Behave as Christians. Praise God. Conduct your life daily in a manner that brings glory to Almighty God. God. Praise God. Let your light so shine before men. Before men. See and then they see your good work glorify and glorify your father which is in heaven which is in heaven Thank you, god Jesus. bless you and god let me just say something on the word fear i listen the conversation but my brothers and sisters fear is not sin Fear is a natural attribute of the human makeup. Fear is coming from the word, fear is coming from the word phobia. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Many of you believers, you have fear for fire. Mm -hmm. You have fear for water. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Fearful you have fear for lizard. <laughs> you have fear for rat. You have fear for roach. <laughs> you understand? Yes. So it is. It, it's not a sin. Listen to what the apostle. Listen to what wise man Solomon said. If fear was sin, fear God. So, when you see the word fear in scripture, you have to understand the context in which it is written. Yes. Because the one word fear, several, several meaning. Because I am looking right now, the same word have is coming from five different Greek words, wow. which have different meanings. different meanings. 
<laughs> you understand? When, you, when, 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 when Solomon said, fear God, keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. What he's saying, reverence God. Mm -hmm. You must have a deep reverence for God. That's right. So, the word fear is not sin. Everybody have a healthy fear. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know. And I heard this, this quote, a scripture from... Revelation. From Revelation 21, 11. Brethren. Where he said the fearful and the unbelieving. unbelieving. Now, that the, 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 the Greek word that in the adjective that that word is coming from is used only in the active sense in the New Testament. That somebody who will cause fear to you, terribly fear, who um, now, like a leader who terrorizes okay. his subjects with fear. Like um, Russia and places. Yes, like what happened in North Korea and in Russia and some of those places where the leaders terrorize people with fear to keep them subject to him. Mm -hmm. That is what the world is. Those men, they fearful. <laughs> And the unbelieving shall have their part in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. You see. So don't equate fear with sin. It's, it, it's a part of the human. That is why Jesus, Jesus Christ, each time he got it, when he walked on the sea, the disciples thought it was a ghost. Mm -hmm. And which one of you would feel say it's a ghost exactly. and walk away? <laughs> and, 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 and be afraid. <laughs> but Jesus said, be not afraid, it is I. You never condemn them saying no sin. No. Because it's a part of the human man. Fear is a part of the human man. You see. So. Get, get rid of that. That fear is sin. It's not sin. Or else the whole of we would have lived in a sin. Oh, for I'm afraid of height. <laughs> me too. Phobia. At for me, it, me used to climb height when I was younger. Climb tree. No, me afraid to even climb. Once me go up on the tree, uh, on the chair, me knees start to up. I am afraid of height now. That mean I, I sin? No. Come. So, you get that. And let's move away from that. Brothers and sisters. So may the Lord richly bless your hearts. There are some other people who joined us. My God, thank God for so many people joining us tonight. And some couldn't get to come walking. You have Shauna St. Rochelle. Del, Del Rita. Del Rita, Paddyfoot, Verone, Codley, New York. Hi, Ver. Hi, Ver. God bless you for joining us. DeAndre Williams, Brother Kirk Harvey, Cher Miller, Gerard. <laughs> Sister Sandra Gallimore. Hi, Sister Gallimore. God bless you. Herman Foster. Shelly Ann Thompson. Harris. Ashley Brown. Sister Margaret Alexander. Dana Samuels. Pat Burnett. Pentecost, New York. Hi, Pat. Bless you. My sister. Pat. Georgia. Badaloo. Sister Sandra De Costa. LaDonna Bailey. Anika Paisley, Rose McLean, Patricia Christie, Praise God, Sister Chronicle, Heaven's everything I've got. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Praise God, Carrie Ann Smitel, Sister Feline Bell, Sister N Nessa Sewell, Brother Meredith, Beverly Price, Nadine Brown, Hannaford, praise God. Um, Reese, somebody said they read that scripture this morning. Anne Marie. Anne Marie. <laughs> no, Nadine. 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 Durban Bryce, Chanel White Trail, 
Sister Jared Chosen, Tanya, Tina Francis, Everett Wilson, Alex Calvino, Doreen Sewell, Canada, praise God, Sister Beverly White, Canada, God Hannaford, praise God, Alicia Grant, Joy Levy, Alanda Scarlett, Kadeen Black, Anique Williams, Jolly Rogers Hyde, <laughs> Shelly Ann Thompson Harris, of Ophelia Williams, Keisha Logan Thomas, and Chin, 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 Chin B. Chin <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Billy Dwayne Henderson, Rose McLean, Patsy, Celine Dawkins, Brother Hall, Sister Sheikah, Sister Rona Davis, Brother Carlton Nelson, Patricia Christie, Cher Miller, Brother Prince, my brothers and sisters. And maybe so, maybe some the names went by so and, fast. And I a lot some, more who we couldn't get to record <laughs> their names. Nice but having you tonight. So many people joined us tonight and it was such a pleasure having um, you both with all of you with us. And we look forward to have you next week if as we continue to study the word of God, my brothers and sisters. And I, I, I implore us again, let us do everything possible to walk in light of the word of God. And let the word of God become a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Because unless we obey God's word, we cannot make it into the kingdom. The word of God is his final authority for the children of God. Let us walk in it as a people of God. God bless you. Praise God. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight for your words. We ask you, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. As we have gone tonight through your word, let your word be richly in our hearts. Thank you, God. Help us, God, to do us what the psalmist reminds us to do. To hide your word in our hearts. That we will not sin against you. Praise God. Praise God. I ask of you tonight, Lord God. That where we slip up on your word, but as you shine your word upon our path tonight, Thank you, Jesus. as you open our knowledge and, and our understanding to the word of God, help us to walk in them. Thank you, Jesus. Help us to obey God, your word. Thank you, Jesus. For there is no other way to be in our relationship with you. Praise God. But to trust you. And to obey. And obey. Praise God. Thank you for all those who joined us tonight. Thank you, Jesus. God Almighty, may the blessing of Almighty God rest upon them. Yes, Jesus. May you draw them closer to you. Lead them into a deeper relationship with you, Almighty God. Jesus. I pray, God, that none of them should feel, oh God, but you will keep and preserve them, Jesus. oh God, until we finish our course here Praise on earth. God. Praise God. Oh God, Almighty, the angels, well done. Yes, Jesus. Come, ye blessed of my Father. Praise God. Wake us out of that insensitivity to your demands. Yes, Jesus. And help us to fulfill your purpose here on earth as children of God. Thank you, Jesus. Keep us together as we pray for each other. Yes, Lord. And fulfill your responsibility to love each other. Thank you, Jesus. 
and bind us together as your church. Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Father, I ask of you, Jesus. if it is your will Jesus. to call us home tonight, whether by the rapture or by death, Jesus. help us, God, that nothing Jesus. will stand between our soul oh, Jesus. and you. I thank you again. Thank you, God. For blessing us. It's Jesus. Protect your children throughout this night. Thank you, God. Assign your angels around and over every believer tonight. Thank you, Jesus. And every home of your children tonight, God. Your presence will be with them. Yes, Jesus. I thank you again, God, for the opportunity. To minister to your children. Yes, God. Hear us now, we pray. Yes, God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 My brethren, love you all. Love you. God bless. God bless you. And looking forward. When this Corona. <laughs> Corona is over. Long to see you guys. <laughs> we will greet and meet each other and the fellowship will be stronger amen heaven bless you have a good night rest. bless you my brethren god bless you take care now love you all love you too